This is a video 100%. First of all, hi guys. I, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. This, all right, let me continue. I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Listen, this is a video only for people that want to play live or people that are playing live right now, okay? If you're just playing by yourself, yeah, it's good. If you just wanna have fun and you're playing to yourself, obviously this video will help you be a better player, but it's not essential, okay? But if you are trying to be a live performer and you're wondering how to make your solo sound better, I'm gonna tell you right now. And my method of making solo sound more interesting or my method of teaching how to make solos sound more interesting has nothing to do with learning new notes, licks, scale, nothing, nothing. It's with the knowledge you already have and you can apply it and you'll be able to apply it for the rest of your life, okay? So you need to understand, number one, how to use dynamics, which I will show you in a second. And number two, you need to understand how to use silence. These two things, are so great because you're taking away from your playing it you don't have to add anything to it you know so you so it's almost like a relief like oh wow i can make my solo sound better and i don't have to learn anything new i don't have to get a new muscle memory yeah seriously so let's get right into it so first of all with dynamics you want to play loud i'm playing hard kind of right that's great but then when you go so you want to go play loud quiet loud you know what i mean and then play loud for a while maybe like there's a passing for a while right and then and then it goes back right It's just play around with that okay and this will be a short video because once again I'm not showing you anything specific it's just I'm just giving you examples right now so for dynamics I'll just give you one more we'll jump up to C and you're just playing I kind of forgot what I was playing for a second, but you get the point, okay? Listen, listen. Hard. Then you play soft. And that was hard. So practice that. The first note you play, make it hard. Then play everything soft. And then when you when you feel like wrapping it up, just play shit loud. So. See, that was more extreme. That was like super quiet, super loud. You want to get like, like this, nice little tempo going at all times, okay? So there's my example on that. The second example was kind of a waste, but there's to show you that I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the fucking time. So when you make mistakes, maybe you'll beat yourself up about it less. You know what I mean? Now, the second thing, which is probably even more important than dynamics, and I'm guilty of this, is not using your silence to your advantage. And the way you use silence is, it's not like you just sit there, like your solo is just like, yeah, use silence and you just don't play anything. No, it's, you play a lick. Okay? You, 
you just take pauses. And the best thing that you can do, which I need to start doing more, I do not do enough, is lit, when you're listening to guitar players, just pay attention to how they, how often they pause. The ones, I'm sure your favorite players pause all the time during their solos, in between their licks, like during a bridge or whatever. They They pause all the time. It's super important. And I need to get back to learning that because that right there is the secret. That's where the money is because this is ugly. Just going... obviously exaggerated we're not gonna overplay that much but it's just to pr show you the point that you do not want to get on that level we were up here right what i just showed you was extremely annoying but when we play we might just be like a little annoying when we all could be right here not annoying at all and then here the opposite of annoying which is i guess pleasing or whatever and that's with really focusing on that note selection. I'm out of tune, fuck. Okay, give it a shot. All right, guys, have a good day.